All right, we're continuing to talk about percentages and how to solve problems involving percentages. And I've been saying that percentages show up in a lot of situations in the real world. So we're going to look at some applications of percentages and some problems, some problems where these things show up. This first example, we're told that Joe sells an office building for $950,000 and he receives a commission of 1.2% on the sale. And this is typically how salespeople make their money. They sell something and then they get a certain, a certain percentage of the sale price. And that's how they make their salary, their living. So in this case, how much money does he make? What is his commission? What's the portion that he gets to take home? So we're told to identify the amount, the base, and the rate and use the percent proportion. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to also show you another way to solve this problem that I think is pretty smooth. So first, let's do this. Identify the amount, the base, and the rate, and then solve this with the percent proportion. Okay, the amount is what we're looking for. We want to know what is his take, what fraction of it that he gets to keep. That's our unknown, so I'm just going to put a question mark there. You could write out the word unknown, but, but a little question mark is, is sufficient. That shows us that that's what we're looking for. The base is the, the total the thing that we're taking a percentage of and that's nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars in this case and then the rate is the percentage one point two percent then we can solve the problem we set up the percent proportion a over b equals r over a hundred now i'm going to rewrite this but i'm going to put in all the numbers that we know i know that b is nine hundred and fifty thousand R is 1.2 and 100 stays 100. A is what I don't know so I left it as a variable. And then I can solve this. If I cross multiply here I get A times 100 equals 1.2 times 950,000. So I'll write that. 100A equals 1.2 times 950,000. And then to solve for A, I need to divide by 100. If I divide by 100 over there, those will cancel out. And if I divide by 100 on the left, I need to divide by 100 on the right. And on the right, I can just take these two zeros in my 100 and cancel two of those zeros. So my answer, what I'm left with, I have A here equals 1.2 times 9,500. And that comes out to 11,400. And I'll just write this up here because I'm running out of space on the screen. A is 11,400. And that's the answer. I solved that using the percent proportion. Okay, now I'm going to also show you another way to solve this problem that you might like better. We can translate the problem directly from English into a mathematical equation. And this idea of translating something from English into math is a pretty powerful concept and something you want to master when you go through your study of algebra. So think about what we're trying to find here. We're trying to find his commission. What is his commission? Well, he is going to receive 1.2% of the total. So we can ask the question that way. What is 1.2% of that 950,000. So let me write that. I'll write what is 1.2% of 950,000. That's our question. And we can translate that directly into an equation. I can say A, the thing I'm looking for, is, okay, that equal sign means is. 1.2%, that means 1.2 hundredths, so that's my 1.2%, times, and typically in math, of, the word of, gets translated into multiplication. So of means times. This is 950,000. So when I have this, what is 1.2% of 950,000? I'm saying the thing I'm looking for, A, is 1.2% of 950,000. And this is a problem I can solve right away. 1.2 over 100 times 950,000. And that gives me my answer. If I just multiply 1.2 times 
times 950,000 and divide by 100, I end up with A being 11,400 as before. But this translating it like this into an equation is sometimes a little bit simpler and smoother to do.